Uh, good evening, Mayor and Council. Um, Denise will just send a share now. Um, I'm going to speak loudly because I know that people want to hear. You came out tonight because you want to hear. Uh, I do want to say as I address you, Chair, um, that if you want to have a conversation with the community, you should properly accommodate them. Amen. I have a cousin who's coming over with her son who's pretty rambunctious for Thanksgiving. And guess what I'm doing? I'm making sure the basement is all cleared out so he can run around so we can have that conversation. You should have accommodated with us a lot better than you did today. It's hot. It's hard to even think uh, with the space that we have. Uh, and, and just not even checking to see what was on the agenda at the court was just really uh, a poor decision in my, in my, uh, from my point of view. Um, you said you had a lot, you said that there were a lot of meetings, you know, talking about this mind and body. Everyone that I talked to can only remember that big presentation that was done years ago. All these other meetings that was being documented were poorly attended and poorly marketed, which is why it was poorly attended. I can certainly share a few tips on how to get a better, uh, you know, attendance by your residents. A town hall. I asked for a town hall months ago. Roll those meetings back. I asked for a town hall. When that was not answered, concerned citizens started opening the information which brings me to the point of those fake numbers. Those fake numbers and the data that supports it come from OPA requests. OPA requests where we got documents back from the UCIA, from the Board of Education, and the borough itself. So if these numbers are fake, we have to make sure that we inform all of those entities that the data that they have is wrong. So it's not about us giving out fake numbers. It really is about the numbers that we're getting from the people who are managing this project. If there are updated numbers, let's say this. It should not be a one-pager because we got documents upon documents upon documents from these three agencies. Not only was there a spreadsheet, there were 25 other pages that talked about the agreement, that talked about the things that were going to be guaranteed, what was going to be included, what was not going to be included, and I expect to see that information when you give any numbers out. It should be a complete story about what's going to happen here. One of the things that could not be answered in that Oprah request was a business plan. An operational plan that talks about what it's going to cost. We know it's going to cost $59 million to, to build and perhaps a hundred over $100 million over the life of paying back that bond in principal and interest. We know that. But what is it going to cost to run it, to operate it, to insure it, to staff it? All of those things. There is no business plan by either entity. We May I have more time? We requested that information. It was not given because it's not there. By law, you have to share the information. And if it exists and you didn't share it, we've got another conversation that we need to have. Okay, so let's talk about this. It says, this meeting is required to be held in order to deal with matters of such urgency and importance that the delay for this purpose of providing adequate notice would likely result in substantial harm to the public interest. Whose interest? Your interest? Are we trying to fix elements 24 hours before the judge rules on it? Why don't we wait a minute? I've been saying slow down for the longest. Wait a minute. Hear what the judge says we need to fix. Go back and fix those things properly. Let's have a conversation about how to be lean and more efficient in our approach to building and delivering something to this community. But instead, no. We rushed this meeting in a hot room with PAC citizens who are concerned. This is, we need to wait. We need to slow down. This amendment is another example of a poor, poorly managed project. The land lease was null and void as of December 2015, but we broke ground on land that we had no authority to be on. We, uh, there was no business or operational plan, as I said before. And now we have to fix the agreement so that it can accommodate the way this deal is structured. The way the deal is structured is the Board of Ed is leasing the land to the borough. The borough is leasing the land to the Union County Improvement Authority. The Union and County Improvement Authority is now leasing it back to the borough and the Board of Education. And yet this deal could not accommodate such, 
subleasing. And that's why we're here tonight. Another example of poorly managed project. I want to talk about fear because fear is real. Fear is residents who know that they don't know where that next payment is going to be. Fear is when you see on my block alone more people going into foreclosure. Fear is my resident down the block who now has a new sign as of two weeks ago on their door. Fear, to be clear, is about having concern about something that hasn't already happened. This has already happened. People are already losing their home. And I'm just asking you, I want something for my kids. I have a house full of kids. Slow down. Slow down. Let us go back to the table and rethink how we can do this without hurting our residents. It's not fear. It's a reality. Thank you.